So all of this last growing season, I got to use a subscription source that's got sub inch accuracy called Terrastar X. Oh, just... And I want to do a year's review of what I thought of the system and how I used it in our operation. Watch out, Lola. So due to the start of kind of the supply chain issues, hey, come on, get in here, come on. I don't trust you, you come here, I don't, come here, hey, hey, Lola. I don't trust you around garage doors yet. Come here. Oh. I was actually using uh, my RTK system for the tile plow at the beginning of the year until the system arrived. Pretty much, I, I don't think I used it at all to uh, plant corn with, but I did get it put onto the soybean planter. What I would say about that is, is obviously, yes, the correction level is higher and better, but what I noticed when it came to using the RTK when planting season was here is usually when I'm using the base station, you have to move the base station to the field that you're at, have a base station's location set up. Uh, and that takes time plus more gear that you can move. And when I was using Terrastar X to plant, I had sub inch accuracy wherever I went. Um, it was quick to load up fast, didn't have to move the base station around. It worked really, really well much so that I will actually be pretty much planting all of our crops next year using Terrastar X. I, I, I trust it that much to do it. The next thing I was really wanting to use it for, and if you guys didn't know, we actually purchased a, uh, another Haggy, which was an STS-12 this year. I really kind of wanted to try and use it on that sprayer, but that sprayer actually uses Geosteer, so it wasn't able to do that. I would think it would be really interesting to see if you could use Terrastar X to spray in your corn and see if it holds the rows in the corn. I don't see why the actual correction system would have an issue with that, but I, the, I don't know if you can steer it or not. I can't speak to running a sprayer with it because I wasn't able to actually do that. So the first review I got from in season for you guys is actually harvesting soybeans. Okay, so Terrastar X on running soybean. It's not where I noticed it the most in terms of where the steering is assisted, that's in corn but it does ease your mind significantly when you're harvesting soybeans having this level of correction no doubt in my mind about that there you go we've been skip passing here there's six inches on that side there's six inches on that side Oop, and that's a washout it's actually inlet flags right here that we're going to be building terraces on or actually inlets that we're going to build terraces on because there's water runs there this is a 35 foot backed on head I have the swath width at 34 foot, so it gives me uh, a little bit of nudging room, or not nudging room, you don't not even need nudging room, I guess you could say, uh, leaning room for the soybeans. They'll lean their way down on each side. Where this could be really nice for guys is where they, if they were like 30 inch row soybeans and they wanted to go with the rows on these 15s, we cut on the angle. Uh, I feel like I could tighten up that gap a little bit if I want to. Where I could see the difference in between this and WAS, uh, which is the free signal, is that even with WAS, I felt like I always had to watch those outside corners to make sure that it didn't swing or drift or not steer right. Star X, I don't feel like I have to watch those corners, which is a benefit because instead of having to watch your corners to make sure you're actually taking your full swath, that allows me to actually look out in front, scan for things like rocks, debris, washouts that are coming up. It frees up my eyes to be looking for obstacles instead of making sure it's the head's doing what it's supposed to be doing. That's a massive benefit for it massive benefit for running a combine especially in soybeans so my grade review for using Terrastar X on soybeans a plus running Terrastar X and soybeans it helped it worked that was something that I expected however I was a little more curious about how I would actually use it 
uh, to possibly harvest corn. Okay, so running Terrastar X and corn. It works. So with the caveat of uh, you have to plant with a sub-inch accuracy correction, either RTK or Terrastar X, uh, which a subscription for Terrastar X is a year long. So if you buy it in the spring, you should plant with it. You'd be able to harvest with it uh, essentially as long as the system's compatible, say, using Ag Leader across the entire platform. It holds the rows really, really well. I could really see this being a benefit in like gooseneck corn. Uh, if the corn was lodged or laying down, there is lodging in this field, uh, but where it would get really hard to fall the rows, I could see that being really beneficial. Uh, obviously, you're not focused on steering again. Hold on, I gotta flip around. Heck, we'll hit the foot switch and let it steer us into the rows. What I've come to use it and notice how to use it is I set my nudge up on the monitor at one inch and three inches for egg leaders. You can jump back and forth. Uh, that way I can adjust just a little bit throughout the day if need be really you never hit them uh, I do notice that it doesn't work perfectly for steering uh, if you get on the like side hills but that's not this subscription's fault that's actually from the implement drifting away down the side hill uh, that can cause a little bit of an issue for you benefits to running it other than just steering say you want to skip pass in your corn you want to cut through to somewhere if you know that you're actually on the right 12 rows, you can go halfway across the field, uh, find where you want to cut through, hit your guidance button, and it will cut you through and you won't end up with uh, a, a row of shame, I guess you could say. It, it stays on that. The other thing that's really nice is if you don't have square headlands like we get down here, and you get the points where, you know, uh, I don't know how to really describe it. Look at this down corn here. Where like that end over there is the first end to go in, but you got corn that's at a diagonal like this. So instead of having to count every single 12 rows, you're gonna know that you're actually on the right 12 rows by using the guidance system. On the flip side, I don't catch myself using it all the time. Uh, probably because I've harvested a lot of acres by hand like this is the first year that we've had the ability to steer a combine using the sub inch correction something that i've kind of got to train myself back into to use it more often used it all the time harvesting soybeans but getting into it for the corn I, it, it's it's taking me a little bit longer but gives you the ability to make a youtube video because i'm not steering so the grade it in corn as corn harvesting. Uh, big flat square fields, I would probably give it an A plus. Uh, rolling, odd shaped fields. Uh, C plus, B minus, I would give it that. And I think that's because of the implement that planted it, not necessarily the system steering right now. Hopefully that makes sense. Steer in one more time. Then I'm way off the line. Let's see how well she corrects. Drop her in and down. We're going to have a row of shame here or two. But when it comes to technology, technology is not always necessarily the cheapest thing uh, that you can implement into your operation. But if you know how to use the technology, it does pay dividends. When you're using a correction source like Terrastar X, if you can use it to its full potential, you're going to get payback with that. So one of the next things that I tried to do is actually use it to pull anhydrous ammonia 
where I will be able to, which I'll talk about, I guess, in this next clip, recall my guidance lines and either nudge that guidance pattern line over just a little bit and plant my corn rows next to it. On top of it, 15 inches away, I could really do whatever I wanted. And that same principle would apply to, say, uh, you wanted to side dress your corn and you wanted to be right on the side of it and you're pulling a coulter between your corn. If you planted with the Terra Star X, you would use the, that correction source and feel confident in it to be driving in between your corn rows. Let's pull some anhydrous. So we're pulling Terra Star X today. All right, we're pulling anhydrous with Terra Star X today. So we got 30 inch spacings right there on the anhydrous bar. This is a 19 knife, so it's not matched up with the planter at all. Um, what we're going to be doing though next year is that I have the ability to recall my guidance line to plant right over top of this anhydrous. So using that level of correction, which we're hanging on to exactly, I mean perfect steering, it is in a roundabout way kind of strip tilling. A strip tillage bar is something that I'm interested in because you can maybe do dual placement, variable rate your fertilizer nicer. I think a Terrastar X correction source would work perfect for you. Uh, it's, again, still impressed. Impressed with Terrastar X. One of the last things that I used it for the year is my kind of experiment was that I was actually planting my cover crops. Planting my cover crops using seed right backer plates, uh, Kinsey 3600 planter, Terrastar X. Now you guys see how use some of these products together to put a whole plan together but anyways we'll be coming back in it when the spring using the terra star x the plant in between the cereal rye rows well we just talk about it here in the next clip so we are planting cereal rye here right now on 15 inch spacings this is a headland so you can't really tell but what i'm actually doing is i am going right down my previous year's corn stalks right on the row which is actually chopping them up a little bit because this Kinsey planter has no-till coulters on it. What that means is that there's going to be a row of cereal rye right where the previous corn stalks were, and then there's one right in the middle. It's chopping up the corn stalks from last year, sizing it a little bit, and with that accuracy, it means I'm going to be able to plant right in between the cereal rye rows using Terrastar X next year. Let's hop out and show you kind of what I'm getting done. As you can see, my front row units are right in the middle of the rows because there's 15 on the front, or they're 30 inch spacing on the front, but there's then on the back, they're set, they're offset. There you go. That took a second. And then on the back, we're hitting all the rows and it's mulching it up. That's what it looks like behind. Chopping it into finer pieces, breaking it up some little more. Uh, this will be a benefit. I think this will help start to break this down even more, but without really doing a lot of soil disturbance. So right here is a row and right here is a row. And with this level of correction next year, I'll be able to shift over my guidance pattern and plant my soybean right here and right here. What that's gonna do for me, I'm really not quite sure yet, but we'll be learning along with it. But this is another deal that you can use this level of correction for it's working good working good and i guess that's truly wasn't the last thing that i actually used it for i did use it when i was pulling tile i'm but that was just to steer the tractor uh, you can't use terra star x to give you the vertical correction it gives you horizontal correction it doesn't give you the vertical correction to install tile so to install tile you still need a base station but in terms of using uh, Terra Star X versus the base station for horizontal correction, for driving the tractor through the field, I saw no difference. I think the, they both performed beautifully. You know, in the last uh, video that I did, kind of just introducing this Terra Star X to you guys, I guess I compared like using free GPS or uh, WAS GPS to eating hamburgers, and hamburgers are great, especially if you had no GPS and you were eating salad before that. And there's where if you're using WAS or free GPS that you think that hamburgers are the best thing in the world but until you eat a steak. And then you eat that ribeye steak and you'll want to keep eating that ribeye steak. And that's where I'm going to be doing. We're running Terra Star X again next year. I honestly think that it's worth it. Hopefully that maybe explain the values that I see in it if you guys are considering something like this. Give it a try.
Anyways, spring's right around the corner. We'll see you in the next one.